A million laughs a day. Beer. Freshen that up. I'm not here for that. Just rental for the stool. Okay, Dad. What's your line, Mister? Real estate. Around here? Korea. Things are booming there. Like I said, it's a long time between smiles. Are you out? Separated last week. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I can make a lot of noise with a bazooka. Me and a flamethrower are real close friends. Salary reasonable, we'll travel. Do you live around here? Yeah, in my suitcase. Doesn't it get a little lonely in there? Sometimes. What do you do? I collect these. Combat medals, huh? Bravery in action. If I didn't have a date tonight, I'd be right there. Mm. You know you do well. I always do well. I was once the highest paid fashion model in New York. Fashion model? You bet. There's my picture on the wall when I was modeling. Hey, you were really beautiful then. What do you mean then? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I don't like cracks like that. Okay. I met punks like you before. Think you're gonna insult a lady? Look, sis, but I said I was sorry. Go! Stop it, everybody's looking at you. They used to pay to look at me! Thank you.
All right, keep that one where it is and get the other hand up with it. What's the big idea? Now walk over the hood of the car and put your arms across it. What is this? Move, fella. It's hot. Yeah, and it's going to get hotter, Al. Look, I want to know what this is all about. I don't get it. It's clean. Hold out your hands. I want to know what this is all about, I said. Look, do you want to do this the easy way or the hard way, fella? All right, now get in. We ought to play this game again sometime. Ten miles down the road. Cool as a breeze. I was going someplace. That against the law? No. Then why the pickup? You the boss here? Yeah. Joe White Eagle, Lieutenant, Las Vegas Police. Well, these characters act like I'm a secret weapon. I don't like being pushed around. Mind letting me see your papers, Sergeant? Why the pickup, Lieutenant? And why the cuffs? Papers, please. I'm not Houdini. Ben? Thanks. Henry, James Henry. Separated last week. Silver star, bronze star with a cluster. Very good record. That's got nothing to do with this. You haul in everybody that passes through this lousy town? Not a very good likeness, is it? You know, I was a Marine myself. This reminds me of Ewo, only they say this one's a lot tougher. Why the pinch, Lieutenant? Great branch, the Marines. Well, you're not pinched, James. Just thought you could help us. Got a funny way of asking for help. Mind answering a few questions? So let's get it over with. I'm in a hurry. Where were you at three this morning? In Vegas, with a friend. We found your friend. Why did you kill her? Huh? I, I didn't kill her. I, I didn't even know her. A bartender and 15 witnesses say you did. So I walk into a bar and sit down on a stool next to her. You picked her up. You drank with her. You made a pass. She got mad. I didn't make a pass. She was loaded. I shut her up. You shut her up, all right, with a strap around her throat. You're not going to pin a murder rap on me. I didn't kill her, and I can prove it. How? I already told you. I was in Vegas last night with a friend. Who? Paul Bartlett, army captain. We had a date in town. Why? Because he's a buddy, that's why. We were together from midnight till six this morning. Where? The Sunset Hotel. Why don't you check it? Ben? I got a problem. He was helping me with it. You've got a problem, all right. 45, service automatic, government property, loaded. It's a souvenir. So, all right, I'll pay the fine. So, the shirt's got blood stains on it. I fell in the bushes getting off a truck. One khaki service shirt, fifth and sixth buttons missing. Lieutenant, Sunset Hotel. Yes? Oh, yes. Bartlett. Paul C. Paul C. Bartlett. Captain. Yes, Army Captain. Yes? Yes, thank you. 
Satisfied? Both sleeves torn. Blood on left sleeve. What about the call? You should have burned the shirt. What about Captain Bartlett? There was nobody by that name registered last night. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of it? He's not using his own name. He's on some security thing, classified. What name was he using? I don't know. Where can we reach him? We can't reach him right now. I'm going to meet him before 9 in the morning. Why don't you stop lying? You didn't know the girl a lie. You didn't fight with her a lie. You tore your shirt in the bushes a lie. You spent the night with a buddy a lie. It's the truth, I did. Then why did we find this bracelet in her bedroom under her body? Yeah, it's yours. Cuff him. Now, just a minute. Put your hands against the wall. You too. Get those feet out. First guy that moves gets a gut full of lead. No dead heroes, Ben. Hold it, Ben, not yet. All right. Of all the fool luck, you think we could have found the trouble by now? Maybe I should adjust the carburetor. Good, do it. I don't know which one of these gadgets it is. Well, Susan, we've got to get this car started. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cummings, but I don't know anything about these things. Maybe we should thumb a ride back to Las Vegas. I told you before, we're not going back to Las Vegas. We haven't the time. <laughs> Tiger, Tiger, stop it. Tiger? Turn on the charm. Make him help us. Don't try to get away or I'll shoot. Do you know anything about motors? We've been here for hours. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, the grease. I knew it looks good. I'm going to take it off anyway. I better take a look at the engine. Say, did you people see a police car go by here fast? No, officer, we haven't. How long have you been here? Oh, about two hours. We'd still be stuck here if this... Somebody step on the starter. Well, it looks as though we found he might be moving. Okay, thanks. 
Well, you better get a leash on that dog. Shall I start the car now? Just a second. The office is right, Mrs. Cummings. We should have Tiger on a leash. Do you have it? Well, no, I thought you did. Okay, now start her up. Susan, I'm sure he's going to ask us for a ride. I hope. I don't think it's a good idea. That should do it. Where do you want me? Front or back? You've been very kind, but we... Would this crowd you too much? Well, we're very grateful for what you've done, but you see, we... <laughs> We're on our way to Apple Valley to take pictures of the hotel. Oh? You're a professional photographer? No, no, not me, Mrs. Cummings. I'm just her model. You mean like in Vogue and Harper's? All the top slicks. It wouldn't have happened if Tiger had been on his leash. I, I can't imagine what happened to him. Well, don't talk about it. It's too late now. But I, I keep thinking maybe I lost it somewhere. Was I the last one to... No. No, you took him walking last I night. I don't want to hear any more about it. I asked you to stop it, so stop it. I'm sorry, Susan. That's all we can find on him. That's all we need. Dog tags, ribbons, keys, and more clothes. Give the rest to Dick. Ben, get the snap out on the wires and make sure it gets out to the papers. All right. Do you think he made the state line? He didn't get these for stubbing his toe. Better call the border stations anyway. Right. Unit 14F3 to control one. Oh, break it up, Ben. We've got everything we need. Check. Go ahead, 14F3. White Eagle. I got the serial number on James Henry. 891463. 891463. Right. Put it out on a teletype to the Navy Department. I'll drive this car back to town. You better call your wife when you get home. What's up? Trip to California. Teletype Barstow. Tell them we're on hot pursuit. May need their help. Why don't we stop somewhere and get a bite to eat? We didn't even get any breakfast. We left so early. said about the dog, huh? That's only part of it. She lost her husband last year. The circumstances were rather shocking. What'll it be, folks? Hiya, boys. Hello, Sally. Hey, why the work clothes? I thought you were both off. Yeah, we're off for rockers to be out in heat like this. Right, Harry? 
You know, they called us in from a fishing trip up at Mead. How come? Just to keep tabs on you, baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> It'd take a couple of smarter cops than you to do that. <laughs> Have you decided yet? Uh, uh, hamburgers. Three. Maybe I don't want a hamburger. Hey, fella. You don't want a hamburger either. Why not? Heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, heartburn? I ate one of her hamburgers two years ago. Never been the same since. <laughs> he wouldn't know a good burger if it bit him. Besides, he's just peed because they called him back to work. Well, wouldn't you be out chasing some character in this 120 degree heat? Serves you right. I wish I knew who it was, I'd warn him. This boy don't warn Sally. All he can understand is a gun. Uh, may we have the hamburgers, please? Okay. Three horses on the slab. Mrs. Cummings, your hamburger. Worried about her. Um, maybe we better go, huh? But I'm starving. Could you wrap those hamburgers, miss? We'll eat them on the road. Okay, mister. What are you guys gonna have? I'll make it burgers. Hurry it up, will you? We gotta check with the watch commander. Say, just why did they call you guys back from leave? They got a one out. Some guy murdered a dame up in Vegas and escaped. Heading this way? knows. The only sure way he's headed is to the morgue. Now let that be a lesson to you. You're gonna teach me a lesson? Ha! Just don't be picking up any hitchhikers on your day off, you understand? That's what this dame did and got a strap around her neck. Maybe I'd better go and see if Mrs. Cummings is all right. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm all right. Sorry to have been such a nuisance. I want to talk to you alone. Is anything wrong? The police are looking for someone from Las Vegas. They are? Someone strangled a woman with a strap. They said it was a hitchhiker. Jim's a hitchhiker. Why don't we leave him here? What about his bag? I'll take it to him. Keep the change. Stay, fella. I want to talk to you for a minute. What about? Harry and I's been playing it kind of light so as not to scare the ladies. But this is pretty serious. I wouldn't pick up any hitchhikers if I were you, uh, especially if it's a Marine. I'll watch it. Been driving long? Chicago? Chicago? Hey, Harry, he's from Chicago. You should have brought Sally some of that good Eastern beef. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell him. For heaven's sake, Susan, you'll be out in a minute. This is no time to get sentimental. It's not that. I, I just... Oh, he'll find it. Here, put it down. Get in the car, quick. You looking for these? I told you this was my sister's car. Open the back end. Look, all you gotta do is call her. We will. Open the back end, will you please? Oh, great. Great. Any fruits, plants, or seeds? No. Nope. Would you mind putting that on the rack and open the trunk for me? Uh, Mrs. Cummings. We'll have to check the certificate of ownership, ma'am. Would you mind taking it in the office? Of course not, officer. I've never had to show the certificate of ownership before. It's the strap killer, Mrs. Cummings. Oh, I'd almost forgotten. Yeah, 
What's all this marine stuff doing in here? I'll take it from here. Right. What are you doing with a marine uniform, Scott? I'm a marine. The general gets awful mad when I don't wear them. What are you doing in civvies, then? When I'm off duty, he don't mind. Where'd you spend last night? What is this, Mank? A quiz program? Answer the question. In Vegas, with a lady friend. And I got an empty wallet to prove it. Was your lady friend alive when you left her? She wasn't even alive when I was with her. Hey, Steve! Vegas police on the phone! Better come along. Now, wait a minute, Mac. I'm due back at Pendleton. The general's gonna be awful sore if I don't show up. Come on. Oh. This is okay. You put the stuff away. Yeah, I'll be right with you. Yeah, we're checking on the Marine now. Tell him I gotta get back to Pendleton. Doesn't look like it. They found the car. Well, what did they say? I'll talk to you in a minute. May I see your driver's license, please? Hey, what's that again? About the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, get them down to as fast as you can. The description we got could fit a million guys. I'll let you know, all right. I still can't find it. I know it's somewhere in my purse. Well, there's only one thing to do. When you're traveling, it seems everything winds up in your purse. Yes, ma'am. I wasn't expecting this. I've never shown my car certificate before. Is this something new? No, ma'am. Vegas police are looking for someone. Thought they might try to cross the state line. Well, I don't see how they could with all you officers around. It's been done. We're human. We make mistakes, ma'am. Yeah, they are. You're Mrs. H.J. Cummings? Yes. Who are the other occupants of your car? Miss Susan Wilton. She works for me. And the gentleman? James Johnson. Does he work for you, too? Look, Mac, I'm in a hurry. Who isn't? I gotta get back to Camp Pendleton. Take it Let's... easy. Nobody crosses the state line until we're satisfied with their identification. That'll be all, Mrs. Cummings. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look, Mac, what about me? Yeah? Yeah? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Look, I'll call you right back. Hold that car! You could get in a lot of trouble without this. It's your California visitor's permit. If you stay in the state over 30 days, you have to buy California plates. With all this confusion, I'd forgotten about it. Sorry. Forget it. Just got a call from Vegas on that want. He might have gotten this far. Well, if he hasn't been carrying contaminated food, that's your problem, not mine. I don't know. Ever get contaminated by a 45? <laughs> Do you remember when you came out of the lunchroom and you found your, your bag outside the car? Yes. <laughs> you know why it was there? No. <laughs> we thought you were the strap killer, and we were trying to get away. What made you change your mind? <laughs> well, you couldn't be guilty and possibly get past all those officers, could you? I'm sorry. Do you play tennis? Tennis? Yes, there's a tennis court and a swimming pool at the hotel. I thought maybe you'd like to join us. Thanks, but I've got a very important date in the morning. Sounds like a matter of life and death. You're still mad. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. But I'm still going to try to change your mind when we get to the end. Man driving. Looks like a man and two women to me.
Thanks for the lift, Mrs. Cummings. That's quite all right. I'm sorry I couldn't convince you. Are you sure you won't stay? Well, maybe for an hour or so. Maybe I can dream up a few more convinces and change that hour or so to a day or so. I'm afraid not. But thanks anyway. Well, A for effort. Oh, Susan. I'll be there in a minute. I'll see you later at the pool. Well, two more to set up. I'll meet you back in Victorville in a few minutes. Who's in the truck? Oh, he delivers the papers. I know him. Right off the press. I guess I'll go up the end before I go and check that man out with two women. Mrs. Cummings Cottage, number 23. Now hurry, hurry. Hey, let me help you. Say something, Susan? Mm. Ankles trim, legs, mm. waist 20, bust 34. <sighs> what does a girl have to have? What are you muttering about? I'm just taking inventory. Inventory of what? as a sheet. What's the matter? You haven't read the whole story. The one that was murdered was Terry Smith. The same Terry Smith. The same little tramp that Harold killed himself over. You've got to call the police. Susan, you're not listening. Don't you know what that would mean? They'd find out about my husband and Terry. After all, I went through to keep it quiet. The whole filthy mess would come out in the open just because of that little tramp. Whoever killed that creature deserves a medal. But if we don't call the police, he might murder someone else. Have you thought about me, Susan? I was in Las Vegas last night. I had every reason to wish that woman dead. If this whole thing comes out, I, I, I just couldn't stand it. I couldn't face it. I couldn't. They might even try to connect me with the killing. But they couldn't possibly believe a thing like that of you. There's no telling what people will think when things like this come out. But this doesn't have to come out. I'm the only one besides yourself who knows about Mr. Cummings and Terry. You're right, Susan. I'm the only one who could connect you with her now. Yes, you are, aren't you? And I promise you that I won't mention it to anyone. You won't? Of course not. I know you didn't kill Terry, and the rest of it is none of their business. All right, Susan. We'll call the police. Hang up that phone. I'm sorry I have to get you in deeper. The police have set up a roadblock. I'll have to stay here for a while. Please go away. I'll leave as soon as I can. Just a minute. You shouldn't have done that. Whoever it is, get rid of him. Mrs. Cummings, guess what? I just received this wire from Trip Magazine. They'll take our picture layout if we can get it to them by next week. You do think you can make it in time, don't you? Sure. Oh, good, good. Now, all we got... Oh, I don't think we've met. 
Jim Johnson. This is Cummings' assistant. How do you do, Jim? Now, everything is all set up out of the pool. Isn't it wonderful about Trip Magazine? Could we start right away? We're ready. No, we're not. Uh, we have several things to check, Mrs. Cummings. What things, Jim? We have some holes to fill, Mrs. Cummings. I filled them all before you came. Did you check the flash guns too, Mrs. Cummings? Of course she did. I helped her. You better check them again. Guns are funny. Sometimes they go off. Now, would you mind helping us with some of this equipment? Oh, sure, sure. Be glad to. Thank glad you. to. We'll see you with the pool. Yeah. I, uh... Hmm. Strap killer, huh? Well, he certainly looks like a criminal. I can spot him like that. You know, you sure got beautiful equipment. Mr. Carson. Oh, you forgot your telegram. Oh, yes, thanks, thanks. I'll see you outside the pool. Don't ever try anything like that again. You've trapped yourself, haven't you? I don't know. You can't stay here now, and you don't dare go to the pool. What are you going to do? I'm going to take a chance and shoot pictures. I hope that's all I shoot. Mr. Carson? Yes? Sergeant Barnett, Las Vegas Police. Working with California Police Special Case. What can I do for you, Sergeant? Fritz a free Ford convertible drove in here a while ago. Two women, man driving. Oh, yes. That was Mrs. Cummings, our photographer, and a couple of people that worked with her. You vouch for them? Certainly. Ever see him before? I see. Of course. Now I remember. He's the strap killer. You seen him? Yes. Where? In the afternoon paper. His picture's on the front page. I haven't had time to read it. Say, wait a minute. You don't think you'll find him around here, do you? I don't know. I'm not familiar with the habits of the strap killer. Well, the only thing we can do to help, we'll be too happy to cooperate. I'd like to check your hotel register on the way out, then I'll be on my way. Oh, by all means. Come along. I'll, uh... Uh-oh. Here comes our photographer. We've got to take some very important pictures. I wonder if you'd mind. The boy in the office will help you out. Sure thing. Thanks a lot, Mr. Carson. Sure. Now, I hope you don't think I'm trying to tell you your business, Mrs. Cummings, but for our purpose, I do think that the first shot will be from right around here. Now, you come over here, honey. Come over here to the diving board. I've got a swell spot for you. Get right out here and sit down and face this way. Turn your head over this way and smile. Now, that's it. Over this way, a little farther. Isn't this a wonderful shot, Mrs. Cummings? I think it's just wonderful. Smile a little more, a little more, that's it. This is no funeral, you know. Come on, bigger smile, that's it. Oh, I completely forgot. The life preserver. I had it repainted especially for you. Publicity, you know, it's in the office. Oh, say, this is just wonderful, wonderful. This might even make the front cover. If you don't mind, may I? I'm a camera bug too, you know. Of course, I haven't got the kind of equipment that you have. Would you like to use one of my cameras, Mr. Carson? You know, I was kind of hoping you'd ask me that. Jim, get a 4 by 5 holder out of the case for Mr. Carson. There are no 4 by 5s here. Well, then Mr. Carson can use this one. Just a minute. Just wanted to make sure you had the right film. Certainly wonderful to work with professionals. Ah, now, now, let's see now. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't forget to pull the slide, Mr. Carson. Oh, yes, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. You have to pull the slide to get the picture. Is anything the matter, Mr. Carson? I don't think I can hold this pose much longer. Would you hurry it up? We've got a lot to do. Did you pull the slide, Mr. Carson? You forgot the life preserver. You know, the one you had specially painted. With the name of the hotel on it, in your office. Office? Yeah, oh, oh yes, office. Uh, uh, that just reminds me, I've got to go to the office. Operator, please hurry. This is a matter of life and death. Thanks. 
Lieutenant White Eagle. This is Mr. Carson at the inn. The strap killer. He's here. A little louder, please, Mr. Carson. The strap killer. He's here. Cut in on this. Yes, yes. Put this on the air to roadblock two. Now, just keep calm, Mr. Carson. Do exactly as I tell you, and no one will be hurt. Hold it just a moment. Tell the boys on roadblock two to put a barrier across the hotel entrance and hold it until we get there. Now, hello, Mr. Carson. Now, just listen carefully. The man is armed and dangerous. If you can warn your guests without arousing his suspicions, do so. If he attempts to leave and you can delay him without endangering yourself, do that. But under no circumstances, take any chances. Yes. Yes, we'll be there very quickly, Mr. Carson. Strap killer, he's out at the pool. The strap killer. Now, please, please, don't get excited. Everything's under control. I've called the police and they'll be here soon. The strap killer, he... Mr. Straps! Oh, please, give up. Hotel user. Special Unit 14F3. Suspect just crashed roadblock two, heading south on Highway 18. Notify all units. Alert roadblock four. Repeat. Alert roadblock four to intercept suspect. Warning. Suspect has two female hostages riding with him. Hey, some bad wreck. I do good repair work. I just want some gas. Hurry it up. I make a special deal for you. I said hurry it up. Can't you make it any faster? Not with my old friend. But after tomorrow, she rests. Tomorrow morning, new phones. Ah, amigo mío! Vienes a ver mis nuevas pompas. No estarán listas hasta 
hasta mañana. Mira, en esas horas. Hey, hurry it up, come on. Un momentito, eh. Some more. I said it's enough. Hey, get that truck out of my way. Relax, buddy. Hey, Pete, what do I owe you for last week? I said move it over. Okay, buddy. Now lay that rig across the road. Shut up my tires. What are you going to do? I'm going to put some water in the radiator. Well, we only have a little water left. If you use that water in the car, what about us? Right now, the car is more important. Susan, we've got to do something. What can we do? Keep your foot on the accelerator. Don't let the motor die. If he uses the water, we might die out here. Don't you understand? We can't do anything right now. This car has no light on gear shift. Don't you understand? All you have to do is pull it down and step on the gas. He's standing right in front of Yes, the yes. You can leave before he moves. Running down? Yes. Go on. That's murder. What do you think he's going to do to us? Go on, hurry. Don't argue. No, no. Let's go Let's go of me. It's cooling off. Past roadblock four. He hasn't come back this way. So, he must have left the road somewhere between this point and roadblock four. In the space of five miles, he's vanished into, into thin air. Into the desert. He drove off in one of those washes. Be hard to check tonight. We can wait. If we don't get him, the desert will. I need some help. I said I need some help. Get out. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Cummings. Aren't you proud of yourself? Nothing will happen to her. Come on. 
guess we'd better we'll love to wind up with straps on our necks. Get around the back. When I say rocket, rocket. Rocket? Yeah, like this. Okay. Rocket harder. Keep rocking it. Get some brush and put it under the wheels. Might we catch our breath first? You get the wheel. You get off on the side. Okay, let her go. I don't care about a human life? Why'd you say that? In case Mrs. Cummings, you're upset. You're in love with him, aren't you? No. I, I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe Jim didn't kill Terry. You read the papers. They can sometimes be wrong. He was there. So were we. I was there. That's what you're really thinking, isn't it? And that I had a motive. And if we ever get away from here, you'll tell the police to help save him. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? I don't know what to think. <sighs> I'm sorry, Susan. We've been through a lot. I, I am upset. I, I can't think. Maybe if I could rest, I... Why don't you go to the car? I am sorry, Susan. I'll be there in a minute. You let her take the car. I could wring her neck. Why, have you not a straps? I don't blame her for doing what she did. The poor woman's hysterical, you treating her the way you did. She doesn't know what she's doing. If I had any sense, I'd have gone with her. Why didn't you? Because I happen to be trying to help you. I guess I'm supposed to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For being a kidnapper? A murderer? For bringing us out here in the desert to die? What are you going to do? We got to get that car. Come on.
again, will you? W-9. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, right. I'll let you know, and thanks. Something hot? Yeah, a fire right out in the middle of the desert. A fire? You'd be crazy to light a fire out there. It's like signaling. Send a helicopter out there, will you, Ben? Susan. I didn't even know her. All I did was buy her a drink. One drink. And for 65 cents, I bought a martini mixed with dynamite. The cops dragged me in. They had all the questions and answers. I can usually figure two and two make four, but their arithmetic scared me. That dynamite went off and I got panicky. I had the same feeling once before. I was in a foxhole. The whole world seemed to explode. I had to get out. I got a medal for fighting my way out of that one. I can fight my way out of this one, too. I didn't kill her, and I can prove it. I spent the night in Vegas with a friend, Paul Bartlett, Army engineer. You can do wonders with the slide rule. You see, I own a home. Pretty nice place. Overlooks the salt and sea from any room in the house. The only trouble is it's setting in four feet of water. Mama used to say we own a five-room house, seven when the tide's out. Paul thinks he might be able to save it. Something about lifting the foundation, I don't know. I'm supposed to meet him at the house in the morning. He's on some kind of secret duty. Can't even use his own name. That's why the police couldn't check me out in Vegas. If I miss him, I'll be in a lot of trouble before I can prove anything. You know, when a mortar shell hits a target, you don't have to look twice to know it. I guess falling in love is the same thing. You don't have to look twice. I better get the car fixed. I'll have it running in a few minutes.
I'm so terribly sorry for what I did, running away and leaving you. Well, you don't seem particularly glad to see me, Susan. Oh, it's not that I... I'm just a little bit surprised, that's all. Is he here? Yes, he's fixing the car. I'm so worried. You alone with that... murderer. Nothing's happened to me. I'll never forgive myself. It's been horrible out here, alone, thinking of what I'd done to you. I hope you understand. I, I never would have left you. It's only that... Jim had the car ready. When I saw the fire, I, I didn't know whether to come back or not. After what I did to Jim, I didn't know what he might do to me. It was Jim who made the fire, Mrs. Cummings. Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. Copter pilot. It is, huh? No, no. No thanks. That won't be necessary. Okay. Did he land? Yeah. Fire's still burning. Nobody's there. Tire tracks indicate a car heading west. <laughs> Who knows? Tire tracks heading west, huh? Spot that fire again. W-9. And where did he leave the highway? Uh, right here. Now extend the line west through those two points. Where do you come out? Salt and Sea. What are you getting at? Well, the Navy Department report on Sergeant James Henry gives his last known address as the Salt and Sea. Hmm. Maybe he's making his way home. Maybe we can catch him there. Could I see that address, please? The only thing you'll find here is fish. The place is flooded out. as I go. You can pick up the main highway by going back about a mile and turning left. It'll take you right back to the hotel. There's a sheriff's office in Mecca. This is the kitchen. If I'm going to get any cooking done, you better stay out of the kitchen. What do we work for? Well, there's the stove. It looks pretty rusty right now. I can do something about that. We've probably got some fish in the icebox already. Good. 
What's that? like I got up on the wrong side of the world. You're under arrest. Hold your hands where I can see them. You got a gun, miss, a 45 automatic. Does he still have it? Yeah, I still got it. Without stepping between us, miss, take his gun from him and put it on the sink. But, officer, I can prove that he's innocent. Do as he says. But you gotta listen to me. I know more about this than either of you. We'll talk after the guns on the sink. What I wanted to tell you about. Her husband and the dead woman. Jim, help me, I'm drowned! Let him drown. He drowned after he shot you both for resisting arrest. Both. What else can I do? on me. Please, Jim, please, you've got to help. You figured if they found me dead, you'd be free. But don't go away, please, wait. You can't go down any further. There's concrete underneath. We're withdrawing the homicide charges, Sergeant. We heard a confession. A couple of other minor items like kidnapping, grand theft auto, armed escape, theft of government property, among other things. Pull out your hand. Hold it, Ben. Now get in the car, you two. Joe, that guy's got a list of felonies against him a mile long. We're gonna lose our principal witness, Ben. A wife can't testify against her husband. A wife? You know, Joe, some days I get awful tired of being a cop. Yeah. You know, things may be a little tough before we get the place fixed up. How tough can they be with the swimming pool in every room? 